in this video we're going to learn how to subtract decimal numbers all the way up to the thousandths place and make, making sure that we know how to go across the zero when we're subtracting. All right. The very first step is to rewrite the problem because we can't subtract with it written horizontally. We need it to be vertical. All right, so let's rewrite the number 790 and two thousandths. And every single time when you're writing your subtraction problems, your first number is going to be your top number, okay? So write it on top. It's going to have the greater value when it's written horizontally. Write your number underneath, 615, making sure that you're lining up your decimals and 435 thousandths, okay? Now, that's critical to write it correctly and make sure these decimals are lined up. All right, so after we have our number lined up, the decimals are lined up, now we can subtract like usual. So we're taking five away from two and we know we can't take a big number away from a smaller number. You're going to have to borrow. You can't borrow next door, and you can't borrow next door, and you can't borrow next door to that. So you've got to go all the way over to your tens place to borrow. All right, so what is happening is we're taking one away from the nine and it becomes an eight. So this one is becoming a 10, okay? But we know that we still have to borrow, okay? So if we're borrowing, we're taking away from the 10 and it becomes a nine in order to make this one a 10, right? And we're taking away from the 10 and making it a 9 in order for this to become a 10, okay? And then to be able to finally get our additional 10, we have to take one away and this becomes a 9. And now we can add our 10 to your 2. 10 plus 2 is a 12. All right, now that's a lot of work. And when you get really good at this, you're going to realize that when you go across a zero, you don't have to do the 10 and then make it a nine, a 10, make it a nine, 10, make it a nine. Just go ahead and you know that's a nine, nine, nine. And when you stop, you're going to, this is going to become 10 more, all right? So now subtract 12 minus five, which is seven. Now you can subtract nine minus three, which is six. Nine minus four, which is five. Nine minus five, four, and eight minus one, seven. Seven minus six is one. Do not forget to bring that decimal down. So your final answer is 174 and 567 thousandths. All right, so on, on this one, just to recap, notice when you go across a zero, it becomes a nine. All right, here's our next example. Let's rewrite it and let's go vertical, make sure, making sure that our decimals are lined up. Remember, your first number is always your top number because it has the greatest value. All right, so let's subtract. You cannot take eight from one. Borrow. You can't, borrow, you can't, go all the way over to your one's place and make the five one less, which becomes a four. When we go across a zero, just make it a nine. We're going across another zero, make it a nine. Now, here's where we're going to add the 10. 10 plus one becomes an 11. 11 minus eight is three. Nine minus eight is one. Nine minus eight is one. Four minus four is zero. Make sure that you bring your decimal down. All right, so your answer is 113 thousandths. Now, could I check this to make sure that it's correct? Of course. So you can take your number, your final answer, and you can add it back to 
the number above it and make sure that you get the number, your first original number. And if you do, you know you got it right. So let's add to check. 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 10, 8, 9, 10, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So we got our original number and we know we got the correct answer now. We know it's correct because we checked it. Here's our last example. Look at this one. Looks a little different, doesn't it? You're still going to write it again vertically. You have to know where your decimal is when it's not there. And it's always to the right of the whole number. And this is your whole number one. So here's our decimal. And seven is greater than two and 324 thousands. So right here, just knowing how to write the problem correctly and knowing which number goes on top is half the battle. A lot of students will reverse these and then you'll end up with a negative number. Alright, so 7 and if there's no, nothing above here, nothing in the tenths or hundredths or thousandths place, you need to fill these in with zeros. Okay, and now we can actually subtract. All right, so four, can you take four away from zero? No, we're going to borrow all the way over and the seven becomes a six. So when you go across the zero, it becomes a nine. We're going across another zero, it becomes a nine. But now we're stopping at a zero and this one is going to become a ten. 10 minus 4, and now we can subtract. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 3, 6. And 6 minus 2 is 4. Do not forget to bring your decimal down. So 4 and 676 thousandths is your difference from 7 and 2 and 324 thousandths. All right.